is Glow Up with Fashe, and I am back. You guys know that I did Vlogtober, right? So I put in a lot of work, a lot of effort. Now, turn around, your girl is doing Vlogmas. This is a lot of work, but I'm going to get through it. I'm going to do it. This is a vlog right now. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like motivational, inspirational content, I am your girl. I am just a person that tries to be positive and spread positivity towards others and help you realize that you can change your life through your mindset, through your confidence, through, you know, just put an effort into yourself in general. Long story short, this weave is itchy. I want to take this out. <laughs> I got a traditional sewing, you guys know, on the other vlog. And it's like bothering me and it's only been like a week. So, yeah. So, I am... <laughs> I'm doing Vlogmas, guys. I don't want to do it, but then I do. It's just like, it's going to be a lot of work and I just have to put in that time, in that effort to make it happen. Because, like... Vlog, I'm not gonna lie, Vlogtober was a hassle. Like, that was a real hassle. But, however, it did bring a lot of traffic to my channel, right? So, for you small YouTuber girlies, micro YouTuber girlies, that think that, you know, these Vlogtober and these Vlogmas things don't bring pe other people to your channel and a wider audience to your channel, that's a lie. It does. It definitely does. I've seen so many subscribers subscribe to me after doing Vlogtober. So many new, you know, new subscribers came to my channel. Um, my whole analytics went up, skyrocketed. So I noticed a change in my analytics on YouTube. So after Vlogtober, I'm, I was doing one video a week on Tuesdays. And this is my inspirational video. But now I'm thinking that in, when I'm doing Vlogmas, after Vlogmas, maybe I should just do two videos a week, do one inspirational video on Tuesdays, and then maybe Thursdays do like a weekly vlog, because a lot of you guys like my vlogs as well. So sometimes my life is really boring, I'm not going to lie. Like... <laughs> I really don't be going out like that. Like, I really don't be going out like that. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, especially in the winter time. So, if I'm doing a vlog, I might just vlog me, like, with a client or me working, you know, something of that nature. So, yeah, because I'm not really going to go out like that. I do all my shopping online now. I don't really shop like that. If I go out with my mom, you know, I'll go to Five and Below. That's my, like, go-to shop. Maybe TJ Maxx or Target, but I don't even like going to Target anymore because Target is just ridiculous and the lines and this and that. And it's like, if I can just buy the same stuff online, then I'm just going to go online and get the same stuff, right? Like, why put myself in promotion and exchange energies with ten thousands and thousands of people? And, you know, yeah, that's not happening. So, also, the quality on this camera right here and I'll put the camera name in my description box my Sony camera is so much better than my phone I was looking at my past videos and when I vlog right the Christmas crispness of the background is blurry and I don't know like my phone it's not a new it's not the new 15 but I thought it was so good. I feel like they mess up iPhone mess up people quality when a new phone come out because I'm like, yo, my phone quality was banging like when it first came out and now why is it not crisp and clear? It's kind of cloudy and it's like weird and I'm cleaning my lenses and I'm like, okay, it's easier and more accessible for me to go out with my phone and record my phone when I vlog, but the quality isn't there. So I'm like, okay, so now I'm going to use my Sony vlogging camera, which I bought. Even though it's easier for me, you know, to use my phone, I'm going to start using my vlogging camera because, yeah, I was looking at the quality and the quality wasn't quality, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give you guys, like, this is, like, the first day of Vlogmas and... Yeah, I'm just going to do what I gotta do <laughs> and record the whole month of December. The whole month of December. Like, do you understand 
the whole month of December. That's a long time to do daily videos. Okay. A video a day. A video a day. That's a lot of work. You guys have to give it up to me. Like, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. But I'm going to get it done because that's what I do. Okay. I am ambitious and I'm going to do it. Even though it's going to be tough, even though it's going to be hard. I have tons of work to do, tons of clients, some books need to be done, meetings, interviews, filming, things like that. But I'm going to get the job done. Okay. Because being in front of the camera is what I love to do. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. Okay. Somebody wrote me on my comments and was like, oh, you laugh too much. You laugh in between things that's not even funny. And that I can't help that I'm a freaking happy person. Like, this is my personality. I laugh a lot. Yes, I laugh a lot. Like, me and my sisters laugh a lot. But that's how we grew up. We grew up laughing, having a good time. I notice even people... Let me move this camera a little bit. I notice even people out in the streets, when we're out in, at dinner and, like, having a good time, we love to laugh. People don't like people laughing. Like, what is going on with this miserable generation? Like, y'all are so miserable. When I'm laughing in my videos, don't look at my video. You don't have to watch. You're not obligated to sit here and watch me. Go to somebody else's channel. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they go to laugh again. I laugh. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think sometimes I say stuff and I think it's funny. Maybe it's like an insider joke. But when you're on my channel more, you'll get to know me more. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, somebody was like, oh, great content, but you laugh too much. Why are you laughing? That ain't nothing funny. It's funny to me. Like, don't don't watch my video if you don't think it's funny or you think my laughing annoys you. I'm a happy-go-lucky person. I can't, like, you know, life is good. Life is great. So I can't sit here and be, like, miserable on the damn video. I laugh a lot. I smile a lot. I laugh a lot. This is just me and my personality. I can't change that so my content is going to be a lot of random laughter in between everything I post <laughs> once again <laughs> I don't know it's, just, it's, it's funny to me that comment was funny to me I laughed when I see the comment it's like you know when you get like I'm sorry guys I'm moving the camera every which way but this is a vlog you guys period so you know when you get like hey comments or if you're a content creator you know what i'm talking about when you get like little mean comments on your videos and some people really take that to heart like some people really take hate comments to heart i have let me tell you something guys i have a huge platform on other social medias on other social media platforms right a huge audience i mean people be saying crazy stuff like i've heard it all i've been called everything in the book in in real life and in, in on social media I've heard it, seen it all, heard it all. <clears throat> There's literally nothing that really can make me upset, if that makes sense. Like, I've, I'm from New York. I have tough skin. Like, it's nothing like, oh, my God, she called me this. Oh, my God, he thinks I'm a man. <laughs> like that, that doesn't face me. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. I sit here and laugh. I share it with my mom and I share it with my sister and I'll be like, look what this person said. And we used to sit there and kiki and crackle up, crack up about it. It doesn't faze me, y'all. So when I see stuff like that, I'd be laughing. I'd be like, that's funny. And I'm a whole, like, my mindset has changed so much. I used to be a, an angry little girl. Even through the anger, I still was laughing and joking and, and doing so much. I had, I had so much anger that I channeled that energy and put it into my creativity because you can channel energy that you have trauma you know sadness you know anxiety happiness whatever kind of energy or feelings you have you could channel that and you could put it into something that's positive or something productive let's say so you can always channel that energy and use it for something bigger and better I live by that. And I channeled my anger I acknowledged my anger I lived through my anger and I harbored it and put it into my creativity. So that's why really nothing doesn't get me to the point of anger anymore. Like, literally. Like, at my age, in my late 30s, I've literally seen it, done it, experienced it, and got called every name, a name in the book. So I'm like, what sucks? Like, you, you're not, no. 
No. Ain't gonna happen. Pick <laughs> up. And then the fact that he pointed out my random laughter is so funny. So anyway, guys, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do vlogmas. Uh, even though holidays is not, um, I never liked the holidays. I'm sorry. I never liked the holiday spirit. I do like Christmas music. It depends on what kind. I'm very specific and picky about the Christmas songs. But, you know, my favorite Christmas song is Hawk by the Bells, which is very weird because a lot of people don't like that song. A lot of people don't even know that song. I know the song for every single word in that song yeah i know the whole song so <laughs> that's like my, my favorite christmas song i love hawk by the bells okay the classic one i love destiny's child hawk by the bells that's really good beyonce did her thing on that um but yeah christmas is not really that most wonderful time of the year for me um, that's not my favorite time. It's like, whatever. I just want the holidays to go by super fast. I, but this year I said I'm going to embrace, you know, because I used to have seasonal affective disorder, SAD, you know, when you have depression, when the weather changes. Last year I didn't and the year before that I didn't because I shifted my mindset to think, okay, it's winter, it's less sun, it's colder, we're bundling up more. But... Three years ago, I shifted my mind to think that let's use the winter as a fashion statement. Let's use the winter as a fashion show. So what I did, I purchased a whole bunch of nice clothes, a whole nice bunch of boots, sweaters, and things, and made the winter mine. I conquered the winter that way. I went out more, and I and I hibernate during the winter when I was depressed, you know. And I had I, I don't want to say I was depressed, but I had depressive moments, you know. But now, I conquer the winter with fashion. That's my that's my motto. I'm like I'm going to be fashionable this winter. This winter is going to be mine, you know. I'm going to conquer it. Ever since I had that type of attitude, I did not have seasonal depression disorder anymore. Like literally, like it changed my life the way I'm thinking. That's why I said your mindset literally can change your anxiety, your depression, whatever you're going through at the moment. When you shift your thoughts and transform your thoughts, you can transform and shift your reality. And I have not felt sad in the winter for a while. So this winter, I'm going to embrace the holidays, okay? And I might do a whole video on why I don't like the holidays. <laughs> I might do a video on why I don't like the holidays. It might get a little bit emotional up in her, but I don't, yeah, you know. But I'm going to use this time. I'm going to do Vlogmas. I'm going to go out. I might go to Bryant Park, um, that market, the Christmas market. I might go see the Christmas tree downtown. I don't know. Let's see where 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 the is gonna take me this Christmas. We gotta see some things. We gotta explore. I love New York because there's so much stuff to do. Let me tell you something though. New York is the best freaking place to go holiday season. Holiday season and Halloween season, best place to be. If you want to enjoy yourself truly, if you want to enjoy the holiday season, come to New York. Even though it's cold as heck, you can see the lights on you know, down in the city, they have the Macy's decked up, they have all the stores, the Waldorf, everything is freaking beautiful. Um, everything is beautiful. And then they have like little Christmas markets, like the Bryant Park Christmas food markets. They have the Rockefeller Center, the Christmas tree, the ice skating. New York is the time, it's the place to be in the wintertime. Okay, so I'm in the right place at the right time. Thank the Lord. I'm not raised anybody. I'm not in anybody else's city. No no hate or shade towards, you know, respectfully. But I'm a New York girl to the fullest. Like, in my own ways. Always. I, when I hear people saying they moving out of New York, I said, why? I know it's expensive. It's probably because of cost. But I'm like, I can't go to no other boring place. These places are boring. Like, I've traveled. I've traveled. And, like, literally... They are like a fake imitation of New York, but they can never be New York. Like, New York literally can never get bored. Ever. So, that's my take on <laughs> my city, my state. <laughs> and 
it's vlogmas baby what we gonna do i'm probably gonna do a new intro and everything i'm probably gonna hook y'all up with a new christmas intro i'm gonna do up I'm, I'm gonna do it up this time i'm, I'm gonna show y'all my christmas tree i'm gonna be thinking i'm i'm playing with y'all but this christmas i gave you my heart the very next day you blew it away 